shoulders are. When I'm running this bar or chicken wing, I call it a bar, all right? When I'm running this, a lot of times it's too tight to even pin the guy. So we gotta let his elbow breathe a little bit. Notice I didn't lose my bar. I just dropped my bicep below his elbow and just recinched my bar right here. Now it's gonna be a little bit looser, but it's gonna give me enough play when I shift that bicep down below his elbow to let me stack him completely up. Again, I wasn't super mean when I wrestled. I was in a couple positions, all right? But my goal wasn't to hurt the guy. My goal was to pin the guy. So that's, that's our goal. Being aggressive and being mean, I think are two a little bit different things. All right, being mean, you just got bad intentions. Being aggressive just means you're getting there in a very intense manner. All right, so we're gonna do the whole thing, but we're gonna, we're gonna start on our butt just to save a little bit of time here. So I'm in my crab ride, and again, I wanna be half thigh pride. Okay, I wanna be half in thigh pride. I want this guy to really try to push back into me and like scare me a little bit. Okay, see how my feet kind of lost contact with his shins and I had to readjust. Right foot post. High hand side, still gonna kick. That's what I was talking to Kel about a second ago. You watch David Taylor wrestle in college, he would come up under, all right? But it's gonna essentially be the same thing when we come over, getting that, getting that bottom side hook. Now, when I get here, everything's tight. I have to keep his hips inside of my hips. My belt buckle stays glued to his back. I don't jump out here and start running, okay? I stay glued, just kind of like I'm running a gut wrench. Keep them in my basket right here. Feet running, feet running, feet running. Now, when I see the mat, I'm gonna punch it right here. Now, here's where I let that elbow breathe a little bit. Okay, when I'm running and trying to stack them up, it's almost like I gotta break something on his body to get both shoulders to the mat. So I just let that elbow breathe. So I let that elbow breathe. Now, I can step over, left hip. And then I, I like bringing my knee right here to his chest. All right, he, he doesn't know whether to bridge or just go to his back and get pinned. He's kind of caught in a weird spot. And again, I'm not trying to hurt his shoulder or hurt his elbow. Again, I'm actually loosening it up a little bit so I can actually pin him. Okay, face the back wall. So again, we just let that elbow breathe a little bit right here. Okay, he pushes back, foot immediately going to the mat, elevating. Elevating, elevating. I need to, maybe if I need to readjust this foot, I keep readjusting it. Okay, but if I, even if I do beat him here, say I do beat him here and run my butt up, nothing's different. I let the elbow breathe, but I keep my elbow tight. I just let his elbow see sunlight. And again, I'm stepping over and I'm pulling, I'm pulling with my right elbow as I sag my left hip down. And I like bringing my knee to my chest. It's a very awkward spot for him to try to bridge, okay? Now you can try it without letting his elbow breathe, all right? But just be careful you don't hurt his shoulders, all right? Just be careful you don't hurt his shoulders, okay boy?